Greetings, family, friends, and survivors. Last night at 10.30, because we only live three-eighths of a mile from the lake, they're having some kind of barter fair down there, and they've had music till midnight for the last three nights. Really loud music. And I found out that my chickens love the music. Three of them were perched right here. Exactly, romantic in the starlight. And there was a... But he wasn't with Cinderella. No. He had another girl out here, so... The new rooster was sitting with a new hen on the other side. And there was three hens over here huddled together and they were all facing the lake, which is that way. I can hear the music down there now. Oh, that's funny, that I had to pick them up and put them in. First time I've ever had to stuff them through the hole. I guess Carol wants to go to bed before the sun goes down like I do. She's had to put them away, but we haven't had to put them away in months. They were hanging out listening to the music. It's funny. Well, this is the side. Oh, hello. This is the side that gets the warmest. And there's a fan there exhausting the air in this room. And this side, I never did block the eaves. And weasels can actually get in on this side, but we've been okay so far. But weasels can get in up there. I wasn't expecting to have the meat bird side going yet. So it's helping, the fan's blowing into this room, but there's a big vent here, and if I can just get air moving through, it's not too bad, it's probably 85 in here right now, but that'll change because it's over 100 degrees outside. And the little solar panels are handling the fan just fine. I'm a little disappointed in the little frost fire light. It was acting up last night. But now we've got thunderstorms coming. And traditionally what I've done is when it's getting close, I get online with my laptop and I have this real-time lightning thing. And when it's hitting within 10 miles, um, that's when I'll shut the solar system down. Just drop everything. And uh, that way the the best chance for my um, MOVs to be able to take the surge to ground, the lightning suppressors. If I don't have the inverter running and I don't have the charge controllers going, they're actually open circuit. That's the best way I can try to protect the equipment. All the arrays are grounded to a ground rod, so who knows what could happen. I have friends that are off-grid that have lost lots and lots of money worth of equipment and they did everything right. So it's a little scary. I haven't ever seen large hail here. I've seen nickel-sized hail. In fact, I saw six inches of it in about 15 minutes 20-some years ago. But never bigger than a nickel, usually dime or smaller. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully I won't have a damage report. But they're rolling back in on us from the east. And that's what they do. And hundred supposed to be 106 in the valley below me. And then the big town, 30 miles away, it's supposed to be 110. And it still feels very, very dry. But apparently there was some monsoonal remnants off the west coast and it's getting sucked into this super heat and we're gonna have some thunder bangers it looks like beautiful day you know I take that sky for granted look how beautiful blue that is I take it for granted when I walk outside at night and I see billions of stars and a blue sky during the day I've been to a lot of places where you never see the stars anymore because of smog. I'm really thankful we get to live here.
Okay. Wind's kicking up. Have a blessed day.